Alright, welcome back you to the LTW YouTube. Today we'll be playing Total Tank Simulator. This is my third recording basically. The first time it was just I didn't really like it. Didn't talk enough. Second time it crashed for stupid reason. Third time uh, the music was so loud you could barely hear me talking and now so I'm on my third recording. I re the second last recording I was Ger it was Germany against Russia. And I want to do the same thing because I had a lot of fun with that, so I'm going to do it again. That's like I was, because uh, as you all know, and if you know your World War II history, Russia loved this famous soldiers out to kill Germans. But Russia lost way more troops than they killed. So it would be like 1 to 10. And so we're just going to do some historical events and do 1 to 10 again in Total Tank Simulator. Hope you really like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave comments if you like. It's up to you. I may do a multiple of these. Just depends on if how many stuff I get. Alright, I'm going to try to do this pretty quick. I, first few times it's a few minutes. Last video I did it pretty quickly. It just takes more time. Let's get some T-34s. So let's be historically accurate here. Let's get some of the good old T-34s. Very easy to build. See the tank factories are cheap with Russia because they won't see this family sell themselves. Spawn is okay tanks there too. I want everything to be crappy. See, their records actually weren't even really that crappy. They were just fine works of engineering in a way. Also, we're gonna spawn in some KV2s because just ask Navy Boy. He loves KV2. From Man of War, KV2s were the best tank likes. Just kind of not really, just like spam. And it's not even, it, they, it, countries that's starting and cannot even kill them. So it's just. Watch them try to fight KV2 with like with light German tanks. Very beautiful thing to watch. Also, I'm going to spawn in some uh, flying flying tanks because who doesn't love the flying tanks? Flying tanks are the best thing possible. Just fly down on the tank. Also, I'm going to spawn in a bear. I'm going to spawn in some bears. Like we're going. I'm not going to really take this first round that serious. The second round will get a little bit more serious with them. Spawn in some land falling tanks. Alright, I'm out of stuff. Now let's go to the Germans. I would spawn either one of these in, but both of them are very annoying and just like insanely overpowered in a way. Spawn in the Rattler. I'm not going to spawn these in too. Very annoying too. A lot of the German stuff like is very annoying if you have to fight it again later on. So I'm trying to just like do pretty chill. Start with Germany. Okay, I definitely should not get this many fighters. So I'm just trying to I am trying to torture myself here. I really do like the Panther. The um, Panther Threes. Then the Pan then there's the Panther. And number one is my tiger. I love the tiger as a German thing. I like a lot of German games. Because they they build the very best stuff in the world. But they were so stupid that they didn't even war. Because you never try to war on two fronts. Alright. And also because they were the bad guys. And uh, so, let's keep this going and let's go ahead. Let's just start. Watch our feet like so tactical. Interesting ideas for later. Because most likely I'm going to do this first time. Because I uh, gave the uh, Germans way too many uh, fighters. I can't control German fighters since it's the first game. And because of that, I'm going to just go blow up some of my own team to make this a little bit more. I'm going to kamikaze a lot of their planes in because they're just so stupidly overpowered that Russia will not stand a chance. I 
it didn't even turn. Could have kept it going, but who cares? This is supposed to be fun, at least for the first part, anyways. Then I'll take it serious later. Yeah, all right, I'm trying to go up. Right there. So it's perfect. You guys. I mean, I've played this Polish four times when I kept clicking random teams. That's how I eventually got this picking Russia and Russia and Germany at the start because I kept getting crappy Polish and France back to back. Which I say crappy because they have so few unit selection that it's very painful to play with, especially in the game where there's supposed to be so much diversity in unit unit picking. Like they just have very little choices. And now I'm gonna have to play up against Russia with Polish. This is probably I'm probably gonna get clapped. This is not gonna go good. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna click. I'm gonna go with the heavier side of things. So we're just gonna go right here. Only thing I can actually like credit the Polish to having in this game is like an insane amount of good artillery. Like their specials are artillery. Everything else here though, in my opinion, for the Polish sucks. It's not even hard for Tom Messi, but yeah. Just go ahead and get it started. Get it.
this is what I call mode one.
pretty sure if I saw this in real life, I would kill her. And the flamethrower is making your crap back. It's like a dark blue machine. A machine. Two machine guns. I think this is all you need to win the whole right here. No, 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 no. I, I think I crashed. If I crash, I'm literally gonna scream. It's my third time recording. No, no. If I did crash, thank you all for watching. I'll make another one. But I'm getting like this, uh, the, no the noise of torture when you're playing gaming PC. I haven't, like, I've completely beefed up my PC and it is still. This is the only game that is crashed due to my week, my new up grades this week. This is very funny that it's crashing on this game of all where it has where it has like minimum require the most minimum required requirements but I